Christmas trees. When an archer misses the mark, he turns and looks for the fault within himself. Failure to hit the bullseye is never the fault of the target. To improve your aim, improve yourself, Gilbert Arland. The aim of your prayers. Your prayer is off because you waver on what you ask for. James 1, 6-8 But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the winds and tossed. Let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. But let him ask in faith. Nothing wavering. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. What does the Bible say about prayer without faith? Therefore, I tell you, whatsoever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it shall be yours. Without faith, it is impossible to please God, because everyone who cometh to him must believe that he exists, and that he is a rewarder of those that earnestly seek him. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, James 1.8. A double mind is having the mind opposite or opposing view in different times. What does waver mean in the Bible? To vacillate, irresolute between choices, fluctuate in option, allegiance, or direction, to wave or sway unsteadily between to and fro, real, totter, flicker, waver, and flame, to hesitate as if about to give away. What causes double-mindedness? There could be a number of reasons causing one to be double-minded, neglecting or to assimilate together in the other. True believers will contribute to double-mindedness being separated from the body is dangerous for a believer. I believe another cause of double-mindedness is a lack of understanding. What's the Bible say about changing your mind? Jesus says to him, If you can believe all things are possible to them that believe, it is time to change your mindset and renew your thoughts and ways of thinking. Jesus never intended for us to live according to the world system and ways of doing things. What does the Bible say about race and thoughts? 2 Timothy 1.7 For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Yet, in our world today, anxiety, fear, and monkey brain racing thoughts are prevalent and exhausting. Does sin start in the mind or the heart? Sin begins in the mind. A wrong thought comes before a wrong action. Therefore, sin begins within the mind, whereas we choose to accept a wrong thought and arrange ourselves within it, instead of rejecting it. With the help of God, we can overcome even the thoughts of sin. What does God mean by double-minded? Double-mindedness can be described as carnal or worldliness. When Christians are trying to please God and still fit in with the world, at the same time, they're double-minded. Their loyal or allegiance is neither with 
the world or with God. What is the meaning of a wavering mind? To be dissolute, hesitate between two possibilities, to become unstable, to fluctuate or vary, to move back and forth or one way or another. What does God say about a reprobate mind? Reprobation in Christian theology is a doctrine in the Bible found in many passages of scripture such as Romans 1, 20-28, Proverbs 1, 22-23, and John 12, 37-41, Hebrews 6, 4-8, etc. Romans 1, 28-32. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all the unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, controversiousness, maliceness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignant whispers, backbiting, haters of God, despiteful, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who know in the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only to do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Proverbs one twenty three through 30 Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught at my counsel and were none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and agony come, you, then shall ye call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that that hateth knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Hebrews 6, 4-10 For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gifts, and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost, and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again, unto repentance, seeing they are crucified to themselves the Son of God's f flesh, and put him into an open shame. For the earth was strength of the rain that cometh off upon it, and bringeth forth herbs meeting for them, by whom it is distressed, receiveth blessing from God. But that which beareth thorns and barrels, and rejected in nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. But, beloved, we are persuaded better things of you, and things that be in salvation through us we speak. For God is not unrighteous to forgive your works and labors of love which you have shown. Which teaches that a person can reject the gospel to the point where God in turn rejects them and curses their consciousness. Synops for waver. Waver flu fluctuates, vacillates, refer to alternations or hesitations between one's direction or another. Waver means to hesitate between choices, to waver between two choices of action. Why do we waver in our faith? It comes from a source that we never even thought about before. 
So why can't we put a time limit on God or tell him how to answer that prayer? Whatever it might be. Then one of the primary reasons that people waver in their faith is thus, watch carefully, they still feel guilty over past sins. James 4, 6-10 But he giveth more grace, whereas he saith, God resisted the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse ye hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Everyone is a map that can lead someone to Christ.